Okay, so now that I'm done sculpting in all these scratches and pits in the skin, there's just a couple final details I want to add. Um, I'm going to take this and um, bring it down some. And then I'm going to add some like cut, cut in this ear right here. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of more damage to his ear right here. Just a final little touch here to add to his ear since I thought that would be pretty cool. And um, the other thing is I want to add like a little dimple um, with a drag dot. I'm going to add a little dimple thing going on here. Little dots hanging around on his face. I think anchored would actually be a better tool right now for this. And then I can control the size. Um, don't want too many of these. Just a couple to uh, show that I used to be human. Nothing too distracting. Just something kind of small and subtle. There we go. Add this one one more time, right about there. A little bit more. Okay, so it's all these little details added on that helps make your character, your zombie, look more realistic. Now, um, I hope you had a lot of fun watching along, and there's just one final part I want to show you, and that is setting them up for rendering. So, I'm going to grab them like this, and first I'm going to right click on those, and then shift, right click, and hit control P to parent those. Just for cleanliness, I'm going to name you Zombie. I'm going to name you Eyes. And um, then we're going to shift, left click these layers in. So now we have these two layers. I'm going to right click on the camera, hit numpad 0 to go to it, and hit shift F. Then I'm going to use my WASD keys and my mouse to navigate around until I get a nice angle of my zombie, of our zombie. Okay, so um, zoom out a little bit. And we want to change the dimensions to 640 by, oops, 480. No, this 640. Sorry, turn that all the way up, 100%. And, um, work fine. I'm going to grab him and give him a material. I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to save it and then get rid of it. And we're going to call this skin. And we're going to give it a little bit of a uh, skin tone. And then of course you can change this around later. But I'm going to turn the specularity way down. And use blend for this. Turn down the hardness a bit, and let's just use mini art right there. Um, and we, let's just make the skin a bit, a bit darker. Nice zombie tone going on here. Okay, not quite that dark. Okay, so that'll work fine. And we'll right click on the eyes. And do a new texture, new material, and call it eyes. Set it all the way to white. Second. Turn the intensity all the way up. And then turn the specularity up a lot on this as well and turn the hardness up. Not too incredibly high. And just set it like that, okay? And um, that's the eyes. Now the final thing we need to do is add in some lights here. So we're going to set this to sun, shift right click, and then hit control T 
subtract to constraint. That way our light is going to always be pointing at our character. I'm going to keep this guy, I'm going to set him to about 0.8. Bring him down some. What we want to do now to set up the lights is we want to hit N, go down to shading right here, and do GLSL. And then the final thing we're going to do um, is hit Alt Z. Okay, now we have interactive lighting, dynamic lighting going on. So as we move this around, our character's lighting setup will also change. Okay, so using this, we can um, set up the lighting. I'm going to turn off specular on this. I'm going to do Shift D to duplicate it. I'm going to set this to about 0 0.3, turn the specular for it, and um, then I'm going to create a another light right here and set it to a point and point 0 0.4 and set it to diffuse as a fill light. We can turn it down even a little bit more. 0 0.3 is fine. So now we go on our camera and we position our camera a little bit better. And the final thing we want to do is make sure um, the background is black. So we'll just set it to black. Okay, um, we should be set for render. So we'll render this out and be right back. Hit F12 to render, and then we wait for it to render. Okay, so this is how our render turned out. Not quite what we want, so we will modify it a little bit and we'll call it zombie tut. Okay, saves as a PNG. So hit escape to get out of there and we'll just hit F11 to kind of get an idea of what we want to change on it. So I guess I will duplicate this um, sun lamp and bring it down to about here to fill in some of the space but I'll turn it down to about 0 0.2. It's pretty hard to see what it'll actually look like here so I'll run another render and um, let me just make sure we get it we want it. We want one straight on. We'll, we'll put this over here actually to do a little fill there, and then we want um, what did it looked like before. We'll put this straight on. No, we'll duplicate this. Turn it down to zero point one five, and then we'll put this about straight on to fill in that spot right there. And we'll render this out again and see how it looks. Okay, so that's how our render just turned out. Um, we're going to save that as well. The lighting isn't nearly dramatic enough, um, so I'll um, fix the lighting a little bit. And um, we also want to change the skin tone a little bit. Change it a little bit more like that, and a bit less intensity on the diffuse. And I'm going to turn this guy down to 0 0.1. This guy um, right here, let me see, the guy could go down even more, 0 0.05. And um, if I'm a terrible lighting artist, I apologize. And we'll do one final render and um, hope it turns out well. Okay, so this is the render that we just got from that. As you can see, we can't see many of the details we sculpted in, so um, if you're better at lighting, then that's great, and you can figure out the lighting to help illuminate your model and make them even scarier. So this is what we've come up with, and um, just gave you some basic haphazard lighting and materials, and um, while I'm talking, I might as well get the camera around to the other side, duplicate the camera, and um, move it over here. And select all the lights and just grab them and move them over here. And then we can get a little bit of a look at our brain and render that out. 
So um, what we've learned so far is how to take a head and sculpt a semi-realistic head from scratch and then how to zombify it by um, cutting away the skull on the top and making it look like we have brains exposed and then some goop hanging out and some, some um, cuts. Also how to make your own little textures which you can grab your own textures at CG Textures or a site like 3D.SK which is more like references but um, you can load those in and use those as um, textures for your brushes and um, from here you can retopologize your character for animation and create a normal map for him or you could um, just use it to uh, make um, to save render time if you're not going to use them for animation and you can texture them from here so um, there should be future tutorials featuring this character um, so look forward to that and I hope you enjoyed this presentation and happy blending and happy Halloween this is Benjamin Bailey on how to sculpt a zombie head in Blender 3D 2.54 have a great night and enjoy your Halloween. Goodbye.